Hello guys, welcome back once again. In the previous video, we have seen how to configure the environment and what are the necessary tools to develop an application. And now we will continue on developing a servlet. Uh, before moving on to the servlet, uh, there are two different types of servlet, one is generic and it's HTTP. Generic supports all the protocols such as HTTP, FTP, and so on, whereas HTTP supports only the HTTP protocol. Um, first, we will see how to create a generic servlet uh, and how to and different methods available in generic servlet. And go to the Java resources, source, new Java code. If you give a new servlet, it will automatically generate the HTTP servlet codes. So, first to generate a generic servlet, we have to give a <coughs> uh, create a new class. And then just form dot and then name it as and we should extend the class nothing but generic servlet. Okay. And the generic servlet will like um the generic servlet uh, Contains different methods such as init, uh, destroy, and service. So all our business logic and the code will be written in the method called serv uh, service method, which takes a service request and uh, servlet response. Sorry, servlet request and servlet response as a, as a parameter. So we can uh, get write or something on our web page. So for that, we have to get an instance of a print writer. So to response object dot get writer. To say about this servlet to the server, we have to configure this servlet in our web.xml file. So, uh, let's just call a tag called servlet tag. So, we have to specify a name for our servlet. So, we name it as name server. And the servlet class name is a fully qualified dot which is com dot then dot serve dot then server after configuring the servlet we need have to specify a servlet mapping which is compulsory because there is a tag name servlet that should be a tag servlet mapping tag name should be the same as and server and next and URL for URL pattern for a server mm. it can be anything okay. after this just right click and check the server whether it's working. It's at the server. Okay. And we can also change the output uh, browser which is present in the window. The browser. Internal, uh, we can just check out which browser we need. A default is from the browser. Okay. To run, it will run on the default browser. Welcome. And this is what a generic server is. Uh, and now we will just check out, and the next video will be 
seeing how to create an XTP server. Um, just like and subscribe. Thank you.